One of the most important things in dropshipping and in e-commerce is to have a nice profit. Because if you don't make a profit, you don't earn money and you're just only spending. And you need to make sure what kind of profit you are making on each specific product because based on that you can decide how much ads you can spend on that particular product if you want to do ads. So in the past videos, I've already explained and showed you the spreadsheet I am using for calculating my margin. And in this video, I will go more in depth into that spreadsheet and also how to use it, but also what the base rules are of calculating your margin. So in this video, I will show you what does profit mean exactly, the base rules of profit calculation, and the free spreadsheet explained. Profit is the amount of money you can earn based on selling a product after all expenses are extracted. Now, by default, profit is the sale price, extracting the purchase price is a brutto profit. And brutto means that it's just like the sale price is probably including tax, the purchase price is also including tax, and in between there can be multiple expenses which are not taken into account. So brutto profit is not really the uh, profit you are looking for in order to be sure that you're earning money on this specific product. We need to do a more in-depth calculation. Now what to take into account is also the shipping cost, the VHT, and maybe if you're selling on a marketplace such as Amazon or Bol.com, then you should also take into account the commissions. Now I have two spreadsheets to take into account. The first one is without commissions, without using a marketplace. And the second one is including commissions when using a marketplace. So let's take a look first at the most simple spreadsheet I currently have. Now here I want to identify the product that I'm talking about. So at first I want to have a brand, uh, the type, maybe even a type number, the SKU and the EAN code. Now the most important part to identify a specific product is of course the EAN code because that is widely supported. It's in English also known as the GTYN code and it basically identifies a product. Now, the second thing I want to know is the purchase price excluding VHT. Let me translate this to English. The shipping cost, the sale price excluding VHT, and the sale price I'm actually asking on my website. So the columns with the colors, I cannot touch them because behind those columns, there is a uh, sum. And also here there's a sum and here's also a conditional logic that if the margin is uh, negative then it will become red and if it's positive it will become green. So based on that I know whether or not to sell this particular product um, because I need to know if I can make enough margin. Now for example if we uh, take a uh, victim EAN code, um, those Fields do not really matter for the calculation of the margin. It is just necessary to identify the product so that we are certain we are talking about the correct product. The only fields that are taken into uh, account with the calculation are the purchase price excluding VHT, the shipping cost, the sale price. So for example, let's say we have a um, watch. I'm, I'm totally into watches at this moment. Uh, we have a watch. Um, which is a wristwatch, type number is 1234, and EN code, we already have done that. Now let's say we need to pay 120 euros to purchase this particular product. And for the shipping cost, it's also a bit more expensive because I want to have a signature because the watch is a bit more expensive. So I will pay 995 for the shipping cost. Now, at this moment, I don't have the sale price um, filled in yet. So my margin will be, of course, negative 129.95. Now, let's say I can sell this particular product for 199, including um, VHT. That will mean that my margin will change to 34.51. So that's like positive. Now I see the conditional logic is not really good yet because I want to make it green. So let me change that um, right now so that you guys also have access to that. Um, it should be greater than zero. 
and then it should become green. So there it is. It's now green 3451. So now I am certain this is the exact amount I will get once I sold this product because I need to uh, pay back the VHT, of course, to the government. And also when I calculated with the purchase price, it's a nice margin, 34.51, it's perfectly fine. So as you can see behind here, what it does, if I uh, take the sale price, which is 199, that is E2, it will divide it um, between 121 because in the Netherlands, the VHT is 21%. So if your VHT is, for example, a 19, then you can change the 21 part to 19 and it will calculate it with 19% VHT. And then it will also, again, do it against 100, otherwise we will have a very weird amount. And that will make the price excluding VHT. So it only uses the sale price for that. Now, when we calculate the margin, we will do H2 minus G2, which is the shipping cost, and minus F2, which is the purchase price, excluding VHT. And that will give us our margin. If you, for example, want to add something, so let's say you have a handling price, which you also need to take into account, or let's say, you will pay an amount to your payment provider, right? So let's say we want to have the transaction fee here, the transaction fee. Now let's say the transaction fee is one euro, which is a bit high, but it's just an example. And also make this one empty because there's no calculation behind it. And we want to add that to um, the calculation of the margin. We can just add it by minus H2 and enter and then you will see it will be extracted so you can easily add certain cost make sure that it will be added to the calculation of the margin now if you want to copy this calculation you can just go to the dot over here pull it back down and then yes and then you will see again we will not make any margin here um let's see no it didn't didn't do it very well because the, the two should be, of course, changed, but the, the, num, the, the letter will not be changed. So that's it. So now it has added everything uh, to the exact column. So let's have another, for example, an example uh, calculation. Let's say we now have a purchase price of 50 euro, shipping cost of 495, and we have a handling fee of 25 cents, and then our sale price will be 99 euros. Then we see again, it will calculate that particular margin, which is perfect, right? That's like the basic calculation you can do um, to see if you can make any profit on a particular product. Now, what if you are going to sell on a marketplace such as Amazon? Then you'll have an additional fee which you need to take into account. And I've also created a different spreadsheet for that. Um, in my case, my example is based on a Dutch marketplace, but it doesn't really matter which marketplace you are using. Now you can see that it's already in minus and let me show you why. Uh, because let me check over here yeah the default um, commission of this particular marketplace is 85 cents so it's a percentage based on uh, the the product price the percentage is 13.2 percent but they also have a fixed amount which is default for every single sale so i will always pay that 85 percent now, when we add here a purchase price, and let's do the exact same calculation. We have here 120, 120. We have the shipping cost as 95. And then the sale price was 199. We can see that our margin is way less compared to if we sell it on our own website. And again here, let me make it green again. If it's a positive number greater than zero, done. So even though we're still making margin, it is way less. And based on that, we can decide whether or not to publish this on the particular marketplace, or if we maybe want to add a price, uh, make it a bit more expensive. So let's say, well, if we're going to sell it on the marketplace, we're going to sell it for two 
0.09 so that we can make a bit more profit on it. Based on that, you can do your calculation. So the only thing that you need to adjust is the percentage over here. Most of the time, the percentage of a marketplace is depending on, um, for example, a, a category. You can make like a very advanced spreadsheet where you can add the category here. So let's say uh, watches is 13.2%. And based on that, you can make a more extended calculation. I'm not going to do that right now. Let's keep it simple. The only thing you need to do is change the percentage over here if it's a different percentage than, uh, than this particular product. Now let's do the same with the other calculation where we had 50 euros, 50 euros, 4.95, and our sale price was 99. And then here we don't have the calculation yet, so we can drag it down and also here drag it down. Now we can see that we're also making a margin, but it's again less compared to if we sell it ourselves. So if your commission is uh, different, then you can just click here, change it in the calculation over here manually. I think that's best for now. And then based on that, it will uh, calculate the margin with the correct commission that is charged by the marketplace. So I think this spreadsheet is like awesome to calculate your profit, your potential profit, and also whether or not you should sell a particular product. Now I will leave this URL below this video in both the comments and the description. And now there's one thing I want to show you because you will not be able to edit this, this particular spreadsheet. So if you want to use it, you can easily go to file, then create a copy, and then it will copy to your um, Google account. And based on that, you are also able to adjust it to your own wishes and needs so hopefully you like this video leave a thumbs up subscribe to our youtube channel and leave a comment of course if you have any questions or just something you want to share with us and then hopefully i will see you in the next video